Hi, hello everyone and welcome to Solace Natural Living. Um, it has definitely been a long time since I've done a garden update and this time I'm starting it off a little bit different. I have a different background um, and the reason being is because I'm here to show you why um, I have not given a garden update. And so we had a big mistake earlier this year. Um, we started our seeds back in February and they were doing really well. Um, we used a different method. What we did was we did the paper towel method. We took our seeds, we germinated in the paper towels, and then we used tweezers and we stuck them specifically into the soil at the depth that they were supposed to be planted. Um, so they were doing great. Um, and all of our little plants, I mean, they started looking like this. See? Isn't that just a little adorable? This is a little, um, PCW. I don't know. I, I put acronyms on all of the pots this time around instead of spelling everything out. And now I'm like, what is this? I know it's a pepper plant. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. Okay, but the point being is that all of the plants, they basically all germinated to this point. Um, this was back in February, March is about when I started George and I started these seeds. Um, so anyway, they've been in these little cups, little Dixie cups, and um, that particular plant has actually been there for the past uh, two months, three months, something like that. Um, this one's about almost four months old. Um, so uh, this is a lesson learned and getting the proper seed starting material. Okay, I hear you, little birds. Apparently, there is a nest in this bush, and uh, the parent birds do not want me in it or near it. <laughs> they always um, put nests in that in that bush. So, anyway, the reason I'm here at the front porch, you can kind of see it here, but um, let's see my little tripod. Okay, so I'll turn a little bit. These are all of the seedlings. Um, this is about as big as all of our tomatoes this year got to. Um, they're only this big. This is the biggest one. Um, I really, the only thing that I can caulk it up to is, um, poor soil. Uh, because this is the first one I started off in February. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Um, and this little tiny one here, I started about a month and a half ago. So the first time I started them, I thought it was because I had put them out in the greenhouse um, too early. Like some of the nighttime temperatures dropped down into like the low 50s and even the upper 40s um, out in the greenhouse. And so I thought that I had stunted them there because they had turned purple, um, which is one of the things that happens. Um, so I was like, okay, so they're stunted. So let's just go ahead and restart them when the soils, you know, when the temperatures are higher and all of that stuff. And well, it's still only that tall that you can see. So, um, We've got zucchinis that are only this big. All of these have been planted. Um, now granted, there's some things like, here's dill. Um, it actually already got like a little seed head on it, which is so funny. Um, I might try to go ahead and put that in the ground and see if it takes off, I don't know. Um, of course, I just now noticed, hey look, I've actually got a little, that looks like basil. Huh. Look at there. Okay, so anyway, this is the situation of our seeds starting. Um, this is this this um, encompasses a, about probably 60 jalapeno plants, um, 84-ish tomato plants, and then around probably 20 or so zucchini plants. And all of them here just, I mean, they didn't, they didn't germinate. Um, now one of the things, uh, I do have some, this is mullen, so I was able to get some mullen going. Um, so some of these I might be able to get into the ground 
and they might be able to still grow for the season but who knows uh, so that's there and well let me show you the backyard hey guys I'm back here at the garden um, the back garden and there's a lot of things that are doing really really well the rhubarb is doing really well this year um, I have already gotten a harvest off of it and it is ready to be harvested again I mean some of these leaves um, they're pretty they're pretty incredible um, well I was gonna harvest one for you but they're um, see how big they're pretty big <laughs> um, so anyway there's the rhubarb that comes back every year I did not plant that that was here before we even moved in um, I didn't even know what rhubarb was until we moved here um, and that was 10 years ago in May uh, so we've been here 10 years so let me uh, flip the camera around and I'll get to showing you what's back here what is growing um, we have got some harvest it's just not as much as we hoped <laughs> so let's flip it around okay guys so here is the rhubarb like I said it is just I mean it is doing so well um, obviously there's some yellowing of the leaves but that's to be expected but these stalks I mean these these suckers are huge if you can see that um so yeah pretty excited about that uh, we started peas earlier this year we were able to get two good harvests off of them but I pretty much let them go to seed and if they reseed themselves that's fine um, it's still growing a little bit here but I don't expect it to grow much more just because it's um, it's done for the summer it's kind of a cold season crop uh, the comfrey is doing amazing uh, this it actually got a little bit of a hair trim yesterday so it's looking a little um, little more wild I'll show a picture here to show the before but yeah that's that's what it looks like but now now um, comfrey it can you can actually use it to help rebuild your soil so what I did was all the cuttings from the comfrey I went ahead and just started to mulch this garden bed here um, so what we've got <laughs> this is the cold weather bed uh, we've got carrots purple top turnips we've got beets and turnips um, all of those were planted early this year back in February I think it was February so um, my lovely nieces and nephews and sister helped um, plant so Isaac and Piper I think were the two main ones who planted the carrots here and the uh, the turnips so that was um, you know that was a really great experience for the kids and um, that is a volunteer sunflower uh, it was chopped off at the top uh, something bit off the top of it when it was growing and now it's got three little stems on it so it just kind of branched out so I'm like huh well that's kind of cool so anyway we come over here and I did plant some cucumbers there were supposed to be cucumbers on either side of this trellis there's a little one there but for some reason everything this year has just been really struggling because um, I should be getting cucumbers by now <laughs> um, let's see we've got this is um, butter crunch lettuce that has gone to seed I'll just let it um, dry up and fall down maybe we'll get some good uh, lettuce uh, reseeding itself for the winter crops we did have um, some spinach here that um, a lot of stuff has just pretty much gone to seed and I've just let it and uh, so this bed it does need to be weeded but it's doing pretty good in the in the fact that you know I haven't weeded it at all this year this one I weeded a few weeks ago and redefined the guard the, the beds and stuff because they were starting to encroach in and so that's doing better and let's see we've also got um, Swiss chard purple cabbage green cabbage more chard um, this is actually doing really really well um, I need to come and harvest some of it we're just um, we don't eat a lot of greens like this um, the main reason that I, the main way that I would prepare those is basically like a sauteed greens maybe fry them up in some butter but 
The cabbages, I'm not sure. I don't think they will survive. They have just been eaten up by the cabbage worms. It is just, yeah, I don't think there's, there might not be much hope for these guys. We'll see. I don't know. Um, it gives me something to look at. So there's that. <laughs> And then of course over here we actually planted potatoes that's what we've got um it is of course showing signs of blight uh so these are just about ready to be harvested um this year we had a really neat occurrence and where um most of our potatoes actually flowered which is pretty neat i'll show you some of the um the results from that in our other potato patch but we've got this one here and so looking back it doesn't it doesn't look too terribly bad but um a lot of these rows were supposed to be filled in with jalapenos and and tomatoes okay, like so the story about the tomatoes the tomatoes are supposed to go here so obviously that bed has um it's not been planted at all and what you see down there that's some other lettuce that has gone to seed um so that's the story behind that and so right now we've got bush beans planted here i think these are called the provider bush beans so some of them have got a little bit of bug damage but we're already seeing like lots of little blooms um so we'll be getting harvest off of these really really soon so they're looking really really healthy and we plan on this week um once the weather dries up a little bit we'll plant some more along this bed um, but when we come down here, we've got um, the cucumber. It's actually kind of just exploded. Um, but I'll come up and I'm going to trellis this up, um, up onto the trellis here. And so we'll have the cucumbers go up. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, whew, it's starting to rain again. So hopefully it doesn't rain me out. But what we have here are some tomatoes. Um, this tomato I bought from the farmer's market. I think it's a golden jubilee, maybe? Uh, you know, honestly, I cannot remember, but we bought that one and that one from the farmer's market. Um, this big one here, um, that is a volunteer from last year, as well as this one. And this big old giant there, it is, um, it's, taken up quite a bit there but you know um volunteers this year is the name of the game name of the game with volunteers so we've got some more cucumbers coming in i planted quite a few on this side i really wanted a lot of cucumbers this year <laughs> um so that does it for these gardens up here